Drive down Monroe Avenue in Brighton and you'll likely notice new traffic signals. Part of a traffic management plan as businesses are being built in the new Whole Foods Plaza. But skepticism about how the new plaza will impact traffic remains as those opposed continue to fight against the development itself. Two traffic signals were put in at the recommendation of the State Department of Transportation, according to Brighton Town Supervisor Bill Maley. Maley says the traffic signals are meant to improve traffic safety and flow. The Whole Foods Plaza project is estimated to bring in $400,000 annually in tax revenue once it's built and is up and running. Construction on the project only just started following a state Supreme Court ruling after groups funded by Wegmans tried to stop the development. Opposition group Brighton Grassroots believes the project will negatively impact traffic, encroach into local residential zones, and cost Brighton residents millions in subsidies. Obviously, whenever there's new traffic patterns, people have to get it adjusted to them. But this is really going to improve traffic flow, traffic safety in the area. Bill Maley defending the project, but in a statement, Brighton Grassroots said, quote, our opposition is not deterred in the least. Our objective is to see this plaza built to the right size, and our lawsuits have the likelihood of success on their merit. Our supporter base is growing to stop both the oversized plaza and the special deals given by the town. New lawsuits were filed, which may potentially delay future construction.